Boy, do we have a story for you. I think the camera settings are off. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Is that better? That's better. Um, you should probably teach me that sometime. <laughs> you think after seven years you would oh, know a thing or two. All over the bed. Well, that's the fast food you were just eating. Okay, um. <laughs> should we tell them the story? Let's tell you guys story time. We sold our house in 24 hours. <laughs> did not list our house. Nope. We did not use a realtor. We had three offers. We sold our house in 24 hours. So let's start at the very, very beginning. It wasn't very long ago that one, Ellie and I fully invested, decided to sell our house. And there's a lot of different ways that you can sell your house. You can get a realtor. You can do the, you know, here in Utah, you can do homey. Um, or you can sell it yourself. And we wanted to explore all three options. And so we did just that. Um, did you call a realtor or did I? The realtor I called, she was recommended like crazy here in town. So she was so nice. She came over, she walked around the house and she gave us a market analysis. Pretty much, this is what your home is worth. This is how much I can sell it for. If you need help, call me. When she came, <laughs> when she came over to the house, she gave us what's called comps or comparable sales, you know, to give an analysis of what our house would sell for. And um, it was cool to see all of the different houses in our neighborhood, around the valley, um, for what they had in the house and how much they sold for. And she was really, really excited to work with us in our house because we just put a lot of love and care. When she walked through the house, the floor plan, she's like, I could tell that you guys had a really, really great architect and builder because this house is awesome. And we're like, that Thanks. like makes us feel so good because you know how much we loved building. And I this think, yeah, it like goes to show that other people see that too. So that was our realtor experience. Then we decided to do homey. And the whole point about homey is like, not using a realtor and just having like it do online and have savings and that sort of thing. You only pay what? 3% on one side rather than like 6%? Yeah. I don't know. Fif honestly. No, it's not even that. It's like 1500 bucks. Something like that. Yeah, anyway, I don't even know. You do it all online. You list your house online and you basically go through their service and sell the house that way. Well, there's a preliminary um, like information upload, you list all of the features of your house and then they ask some questions, they have someone come through, you take pictures or they take pictures and that sort of thing. We didn't even get to finish, like Ellie said, going through that process because as soon as we started telling people, like friends, we were telling friends that we are going to sell our house. The boom, boom, boom. We had three offers, the first three friends that we told. And that was just like the craziest thing. We didn't know exactly what to do. And we didn't know what this process would look like. We thought, well, it, we can sit for a while and just stay put if it doesn't sell. Mm -hmm. And then maybe it'll sell here in a few months with, you know. After, you know, like the, the world, world maybe situation calms kinda, down. Yeah. I don't even know it. But it, it worked in our favor and it happened fairly quickly. And I think that timing is everything. And to me, it must have just been really good timing. One thing that's been super interesting with all of the COVID-19 um, changes in the world is the housing market is seems to stopping. be unaffected by this. In fact, it's going up. So like housing prices are going up a lot. So it, it kind of seems like a really good time to be selling a house because houses, at least in Utah, are going very, very quickly. Yeah, and this is just from our experience yes. here. Just from us talking to realtors, family, friends. Like, the person that bought our house listed his house and sold it in 12 hours. Like, that's 12 hours. crazy. And I was like, he texted me that and I was like, We've no, got to no, get no, moving. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but the cool thing about this whole situation is so we, we told a few friends about it and we got a few offers and 
you know, the the person who's end, is ending up buying our house is like a good friend of ours and we're so happy. They are our friends. I adore them. We've been texting nonstop and it's been really nice because I'm like, can I just leave this here? <laughs> can I leave this? these shelves here? Do you want to buy this? Like, it's kind of been really nice to be like talking things out as we're moving rather than like, Maybe if it was a stranger, I wouldn't have felt comfortable. We probably asking, wouldn't you know? have like any communication with them. You know, it all be done through a realtor or someone else. I'm really glad that they're going to be here to take care of the house, mm -hmm. and and the, we're going to come up in the summers and visit family. And I know that I'm going to feel comfortable to drive by and to see them, to let our kids play. So. Yeah, it's fun. And it is hard, though. Yeah, it's but they're like a good fit for the neighbors, and like mm -hmm. I, that's what I'm really excited about. Is like I feel so good having our house go into their hands because they're just good people. And it's actually and I'm really their house now. About. We closed already. Oh yeah, we sold our house in 24 hours. How <laughs> we, crazy is we that? Closed. The realtor texted me and said, "Hey, did your friends end up buying your house? Because if not, I have a buyer." And I said, yes, they bought our house. And she goes, they are so lucky. <laughs> and I was like, oh. This is our last night in this house. And that is like <sighs> crazy to think about. I mean. <sighs> We're going to be up till midnight. <laughs> it doesn't quite hit you until it actually happens. Um, we've been saying goodbye to family members. And my dad and I have a little saying um, ever since I was in elementary school, if he dropped me off at school, he would always say, you're wonderful, you're marvelous, you're amazing, you're incredible, you're fantastic, you're unbelievable, and you're awesome. And I'm going to cry now just thinking about this happening, but uh, we had a fun family dinner tonight, and um, we were at their house, and we said our goodbyes, and we hugged, and all of that sort of stuff, and I was getting in the car, and I stood up over the door, and I said, hey, Dad! <laughs> and he looked back and he knew what I was going to say. No, uh, mm -hmm. I was like wrangling kids. I'm sorry. No, was... it's okay. It's okay. And I just got a lump in my throat and I couldn't say it. And he couldn't watch me not say it because like he was starting to cry too. And he, you know, he just went around the corner and I knew he just stopped. You didn't even say it. I tried to. <laughs> no, I did say it. I did say it. And it just took a lot for me to say. I said, you're wonderful. You're marvelous. You're amazing. You're incredible. You're fantastic. You're unbelievable. You're awesome. Behind, like, all fighting all the tears. And since I was a kid, like, I loved hearing that. Growing up, I loved hearing that. And I love that I can say that to my kids and to my dad, too. Like, I love that I get to have that experience to say that to my dad and my grandpa or my kids. Grandpa can hear him say it to me and to them like that. That's just very thing. special to me. And that's one way that we said goodbye. You know, I'm so sorry. Why? I didn't know that. Oh, it's OK. <laughs> It's like these times, like you, we have such good moments and it's just chaotic and stressful and everyone's sleep deprived. And I knew you were, uh, he got in the car and I was wrangling kids and I just, I knew was not a fun moment to get into the car with the family. <laughs> the kids were, were being rough. And it just, that's really cute. I'm glad to hear that too. Yeah. If you're if you're worried about the moment being ruined, it was not at all. Like it was you a very hear your sweet annoying and, wife. <laughs> and it was a tender moment that Good. I was able to share with my dad, and I loved it. And it was it was sweet. And um, yeah, we've said goodbye to some family members. Most of my family don't live in Utah, other than Matt and Emily, my parents, and we all said goodbye tonight. And said goodbye to some of your family members uh, earlier and it's just exciting it's sad but i mean so just crazy. looking looking at our situation right here the stuff that we have off the walls and i never realized how much putting stuff on the walls makes your house feel different until mm -hmm. all of that stuff came down i know it's bare and it's 
echoey. It's a different feeling taking things off than putting it on. Mm hmm That's different. I can't believe we sold our house that fast. Like, we wanted our contract like that. We went to the title company like that. And we're moving like that. It's all happening very quickly. Very quickly. Oh, I don't have any emotion left in me. And I think that's I feel one of the, numb. That's yeah. I'm just like I don't. I maybe it'll hit me tomorrow as I'm driving. I think that's when it's going to be the craziest. Is when we are leaving and we're not coming back permanently. Like we're driving separately. We are, but once we get there. We're there. Mm -hmm. We're staying there. So that'll be crazy. So. <laughs> it's not real. I'm sleep deprived. I feel like I'm going to fall over right now. Well, maybe you can take a bath. I think I'm going to say goodnight, guys. Take a bath. I'll rub your back. And then we've got an early morning tomorrow. You're nice. The he, We're going to take a bath. You're going to rub my back. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to clean three rooms of bathroom and pack up the car. Uh, that's what we'll do. I need to go run a couple errands. I hope that's okay. For what? Oh, I can't. That's okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had it on. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was just avoiding cleaning. Oh, is that why you said that? I was <laughs> of like, course. Ten at night. Are you getting me a gift? <laughs> no, of course. Only Walmart's open. We did get some gifts for <gasps> the girls. That's what I wanted to do, dang it. Okay, last thing. I wanted to vlog me like writing the. I'm gonna start a new vlog. Goodbye. And then oh, I'm we'll gonna... make it. We'll make it as part of our empty house tour video. How does that sound? Okay. Okay. Is isn't that crazy? We had an empty house tour when we built the house, and an empty house tour when we left the house. Okay. Guys, thanks so much for staying with us. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and let's start this brand new adventure together. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.